hey guys welcome back to another vlog so it is currently wednesday august 2nd i wasn't planning on vlogging today but i just decided to like if i post it or not i just wanted to have this just to remember but today i am actually going to get lip injections and i am so scared like you have no idea i've been like freaking out all morning and i've been like shaking but i wanted to just like document the process and show you guys like the before and after of my lips the place that i'm going to have been going to for a while for my lip flip and just like facials and stuff like that the girl that is going to be doing my lips i trust her so much and she always says that i have like a beautiful shape to my lip and they are only going to put in a little bit just to plump them and even them out because my bottom lip is a little uneven yeah i'm just like so nervous because i never thought i would be the girl to get like lip injections I don't know. I just figured, like, why not try it out? I'm, like, leaving in, like, 20 minutes. I'm, like, actually so nervous. I'll be back when I'm on my way and in the car. Wish me luck. We are on our way. I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. The last time I was there getting a lip flip, I was talking to her about the injections and she was saying that they have this thing that can literally numb your whole mouth for like an hour. Like obviously there's numbing cream, which I'm gonna do, but there's like this other thing that they can put on your lips and it will totally numb your, your mouth and like you won't feel a thing. And I really wish like I had somebody to go with so they could like drive home afterwards i'm like acting like i'm getting surgery right now like i'm <laughs> literally just getting lip injections like so many people do this i'm like freaking myself out i wanted to update you guys a little bit so i just got back from the hamptons and i was supposed to vlog the whole entire hamptons trip but i think i only vlogged like two days i was just like not on top of it but now i'm going on another trip to Nashville with this one brand and I want to vlog the whole trip because it's only like I think two or three days so yeah I really want to vlog that but I have to pack for that and then I go to Fort Lauderdale literally the day after I get back from Nashville and then I move out 10 days later so I have to pack up my whole entire apartment pack for Nashville and Fort Lauderdale so that's gonna be a little hard to organize. Looking at my apartment, I don't think I have that much to pack, but in reality, like I know I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I have so much stuff, but I also need to go through a lot of stuff, so. Whew. See, I talking about that just made me forget about it for a second, and then when I thought about it again, my heart dropped. We're here! I'm so excited but nervous. I just got done that okay wait I just need to talk first before I show you guys that was actually really painful and I wasn't thinking like I didn't think it was gonna be 
painful the way it was. But it wasn't bad at the same time. It was just a lot. <laughs> they use a lot more than I thought they were going to use. They use around 0 0.7, 0 0.8. I wasn't planning on that. I thought she was going to use half a syringe. Anyways, I literally love them so much. Right now, I want them to stay this way. I am literally in love. Ready? Okay, ignore this pimple. That's a pimple. Guys, I look freaky. I look so freaky. But I love them. Okay, just imagine like this pimple's not there. Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, I love them so much. Why didn't I do this so long ago? I'm icing them. And I'm gonna come back in like three weeks so she could like touch them up. But oh my god. Okay, the top lip looks bigger because she put a lot more injections up there. So that means it's a little more swollen. I look like a freak right now, but I swear they look good in person. They don't look that dark. I just feel like I'm wearing lip liner. Oh my God, I love them. Okay, I'm gonna go home and see my baby, my little moosey. I'm gonna go home and see moose and I'll update you guys. I'm gonna update you guys in like an hour when I'm not as like, I look like the guy from Monsters Inc. when he had that thing on his lips and then he pulled it off. That's literally what I feel like right now. So I'll see you when I get home. Ah! Hey guys, I just got home. And so this has been like probably 20 minutes since, um, since my appointment. And you can kind of see that I'm already starting to bruise on this side, like right there. But I just called my mom and I'm like obsessed with them. I just got a phone call in the car so that's why I stopped the video. But I just had to put my ice pack back in the freezer so I could get nice and cold because it started to get a little warm. So I just have like this little ice cube that I'm going to put on because she said once the numbing cream wears off obviously they're gonna start hurting like a little bit um and i think they're starting to bruise a little so i'm just gonna keep icing and i'm gonna what time is it it's currently 3 30 so i'm just gonna ice for a little bit and then i will update you guys around like Maybe in like another hour. I'll update you every hour on how they are doing and like what I'm up to. I'm obsessed with them. So it's been another hour since I got them done. And I was literally just icing and I was on the phone with my friends. For like an hour and then i was like talking to my mom and just like showing a bunch of people because i didn't tell anyone that i was getting this done so yeah i think i'm gonna make myself a coffee now and i had one earlier i wanted to let you guys know so if you guys know me or you've just watched the vlogs you probably know that i like to go get a coffee every single day and i was like okay I gotta start saving money since I'm moving and I just feel like a lot of the sweeteners and a lot of the stuff that they put in the coffees aren't good for you. I just want to be more aware of what I'm putting in my body all the time so I decided I'm gonna stop going to get coffee unless it's like a special occasion and I'm gonna make my coffees at home and I got an espresso machine and it is the best thing I've ever done. She's so cute, and my coffee, my coffee tastes so good. So 
it is like seven o'clock now and I haven't iced in a while so they kind of swelled back up a little bit but I can kind of see like where I'm gonna be bruising like you could see the, like the little dots but nothing too horrible yet they do hurt but it's not like uncomfortable pain it's more just like a throbbing and the numbing cream like fully wore off so like now I can move my lips again and talk normally but I need to like go in good lighting so my lips were like uneven this side was like smaller than this side and this side was bigger than this side so it was like kind of flipped so right here hurts the upper left and bottom right hurt i was about to do my laundry and i was like oh my god this is so embarrassing look at how much laundry i have and i'm also icing my lips right now because they're hurting a little bit random box at the bottom. No wonder why it was so full. And my slipper that I was missing. I thought Moose ate it. This is another little check-in. I just took a shower and scrubbed the self tanner off of my face because it was looking a little crusty. But now I'm just icing because I can tell that I'm starting to bruise a little bit and they're like hurting. Anyways, um, I wanted to talk to you guys while I do my skincare. What I wanted to talk to you guys about is the fact that nobody talks about how badly this hurts. Like, it doesn't- okay, I should rephrase that. It doesn't hurt that bad. It's just so uncomfortable. Like, I cannot speak. But I do have her number, just in case I feel like something is, like, really wrong. That I could text her. Thing is, I have plans tomorrow. I'm supposed to go out tomorrow night, and I'm supposed to go to a dinner. I'm just like nervous that my lips are going to be all purple. I'm definitely going to tan my face tonight. Just like the outside. Because it's not matching my body at all. I'm like I can't leave the house like this. I'm going to put a little aquaphor on my lips. Like, do you see me right now? I look like an idiot! Ugh! Okay. Now I'm just gonna ice. But here is, like, the close-up update of my lips. I'm gonna get some yogurt and kind of just chill and watch my show. And then I will probably update you guys in the morning with how I'm feeling and what they're looking like, so. Good morning, guys. And here's Moosey. Yeah, I've been kind of just chilling in bed. This is the update on the lips, though. As soon as I woke up, I knew that they were a lot better than yesterday because I could actually move them around. They're definitely bruised, but they're not swollen anymore, which is good. So I'm about to just go through all of my little books and write down stuff that I need to do. So it's been a little bit. I wanted to pop on and talk to you guys real quick though because I have a necklace coming out with Every Jewels. I'm literally so excited to release it so I'm just like working on the like PR card and then I'm writing like my friends down that I want to send the necklace to so 
so I've been doing that for like the past hour but the lips are feeling great I haven't iced them yet today so once I'm done with this I'm probably gonna go ice them it's really exciting and I'm so excited for it to come out I'm literally so excited so I just finished up with some of the work stuff that I was doing and now I am going to start packing up my apartment which is like very overwhelming but I just figured I should start either like putting the boxes together or just putting stuff in boxes and start organizing. I'm gonna just start taping them together and putting stuff like that's on my bookshelf in the box because I'm not using that stuff. bubble wrapping all of the delicate glass and ceramic stuff to put into the box this is what it's looking like right now i just have all my books record player and this is what the bookshelf is looking like it's so weird everything is looking so empty already I'm so sad i was just doing my makeup i started it I did like my full face and then I hated how it was looking. I just like put too much powder and like too much foundation and it was just like not looking cute so I wanted to start over. <laughs> so I just put my moisturizer on and now I'm gonna do some bronzing drops I think because the color on my face does not match the rest of my body. Actually one thing that I've been loving doing is using this charlotte tilbury beautiful skin um sun kiss glow bronzer and it's kind of like a matte bronzer and it's literally like you put it on with a brush but it does the same thing as the bronzing drops except there's no shimmer but i just like to do this before my foundation because then my skin matches my body and it kind of makes life a little bit easier all right there we go now we're matching a little bit better. I already put my foundation on. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. But now I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. So my camera died while I was filming um, me getting ready. So that's just fun. I think I'm going to film like a full in-depth makeup tutorial pretty soon of just like what products I've been loving anyways but I am all ready and I'm actually really happy I redid my makeup because I'm so happy with how it looks and normally I'm never like a girl that wants to leave her hair natural but I think I'm just gonna leave it natural today because it's not like too bad I don't know, maybe I'll do something with it because I still literally have like an hour and a half. So, I'm probably going to end up curling it or something. But, yeah, I'm just filming some TikToks and I've got to pick out my outfit too. So. This is what the lips look like with lip liner on. I'm obsessed with them. Like, you could still see the bruises. But they look so I'm so happy with them. I was kind of just chilling after I did my makeup. And now I'm doing my hair. Don't judge it. But I'm trying this like new technique. Hopefully it looks good. I think it's turning out pretty. My camera died again. And I just finished doing my hair. But I wanted to show it to you guys. I used a curling iron on my hair and I think it looks so good. It looks like I just gave myself like a blowout. I mean, it's like, okay. It's not like amazing, but I think tonight I'm gonna wear this little corset top from Bidey. And I'm also gonna wear these black jeans. These are from White Fox. 
these are like kind of like low waisted and they're like boyfriend jeans but i just love the fit of them i need to reapply my lip liner because oh the bruises are coming out and we can't have that oh my goodness oh they're so bad Okay, and then I'm just gonna go over it with this um, hourglass little, it's like their gloss lipsticks. And, ow, this is in the shade Haze. Oh, that hurt really bad. But it does cover them. Okay, I have to put some perfume on brush my teeth, and then grab some tequila. For perfume, I'm wearing my Miss Dior perfume. This is their Blossoming. Oh, it's Blooming Bouquet. Blooming Bouquet. Actually, I'm gonna put a little more on. She's a honey on the dance floor. And then for earrings, should we wear for earrings? I think I'm probably just gonna stick with my classic. The earrings for tonight, they're just like these gold, super chunky hoops. And they're from this little shop called The Perfect Hoop. And they're my favorite. I love them. Okay, so the bag that I'm wearing with this outfit is just this little YSL bag, but I do have to bring my lip liner because we're going to need it to touch up and I need my little lipstick too. So, everything's all packed. And I think I am ready to roll. This is the finished look. And I'm probably just gonna wear this with sneakers, honestly, since it's been raining. And I totally could wear heels and be uncomfortable, but I'm just not in the mood to be uncomfortable tonight. Plus, I probably won't be out too long because I'm an early bird. I like to come home early. I'm running out the door, but I decided to change just because I wanted to feel a little bit more comfortable in wearing this black skims bodysuit these little levi shorts and just some sneakers because it's a thursday so i just want to like keep it casual and i feel so much more comfortable so that's what's important i got the tequila and the mixers and i love you guys bye good afternoon you guys it is the next day and if you couldn't tell, I have a face mask on. I might look a little crazy, but today I'm kind of just having like a reset day because honestly, I didn't plan on going out for that long last night and we ended up staying out pretty late. So I'm just taking it nice and slow and easy today, kind of just having a little reset, doing some self-care. I want to show you guys the update on my lips. They are still, like, very bruised, as you can see. But I can actually move them around, and they feel like my normal lips again, which is amazing. And I'd rather have bruises and be able to use my lips. But, yeah. This is the situation right now. Just in bed. These are the vibes right now is what's going on also i did get a package from aritzia and i got a package from hourglass my favorite makeup brand so i want to show you guys but i'm going to charge my camera a little bit first just so i don't feel like i'm rushing
so I'm back. I just took like a quick little body shower just because I didn't shower last night after I got home, which I don't even want to talk about. I just got home so late, so I was like just exhausted. So I just showered, did some skincare, brushed my teeth, so I'm feeling a lot better. I got two packages, but yeah, I just wanted to open these packages with you guys. The first package is from Hourglass. Ooh. Phantom Volumizing Glossy Bombs. I got four of their little glossy bombs. They have been like my actual favorite thing. I was wearing one of these last night, but they're very pigmented because they could cover my bruises. That's why I was wearing it. I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. And I fell in love with the shade that I was wearing. So... For new shades, I will definitely be trying these out. I'm like obsessed with them. Okay, and the next package is Aritzia. I already opened the box because I like didn't want to bring my scissors in here. I just like sliced it open. But I'm so, so excited about this because I was scrolling through Pinterest. Whenever I scroll on Pinterest, I always end up ordering things. I actually have another package coming in the mail that I'm so, so excited about. It's for the fall, like I'm already shopping for the fall. So I got these two, and the ones that caught my eye were the pink pair. So I'm going to pull those out first, but they didn't have them in a small. They were on sale, actually. They didn't have them in a small, so I got them in a medium. But I feel like that's going to be fine because I like them long and oversized. But, I mean, they're just like cozy little pants. So I got the white as well. Because I just feel like in the fall, like, these white pants with like a white sweater and some Uggs. Or like Birkenstocks and like a little jacket. It's going to look so cute. And if you couldn't tell, I'm very, very excited for the fall. Because I have not had an actual fall in so long. Because being in Florida, it's hot up until like December, January. So... I actually get to wear my Uggs this year. I actually get to enjoy the fall weather. So I'm already fall shopping. These are literally on sale. So if they aren't sold out or if they're still on sale, by the time I post this video, you need to run to Aritzia and check these out. Here are the white pair. As you can see, it's like a little bit of like a waffle material. And they are originally 48, but I'm pretty sure I got them for like, like 35 and these are the pink ones. You could probably tell the material a little bit better, but they're just like super flowy and comfy and so cute and I cannot wait to wear them. So it is the next day and I just filmed a little makeup tutorial on TikTok. So if you want to see how I did this, go check it out. So today I'm just going to be packing and just getting ready and organizing and doing a bunch of stuff like that just to get ready for traveling and moving. So I wanted to give you one last update about my lips. I'm gonna end off the vlog here because I'm actually gonna be starting a new vlog on Monday. It's currently Saturday, but I am getting my hair done and I'm doing something so exciting that I've been thinking about for a while. So definitely stay tuned for that. Here is the last lip update. They're still bruised, but they are looking literally so amazing and I'm like obsessed with them. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the whole process because I like when influencers are open and honest about stuff they've gotten done. 
am super super happy with them i hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for next week when i get my hair done love you